So uh, the next gen VR headset for PlayStation is uh, going to drop and they gave us some details, but they didn't show it off and they didn't show what the uh, headset or controllers are going to look like. But from the description, you know, it has a lot of the things that have come, become kind of like standard fare with headsets currently. Um, the, 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 iteration, the iteration process that this entire market has gone through is pretty fast. Like every subsequent headset has become way less cumbersome. Like the first version of it is a wired, annoying mess that requires oh, yeah. external cameras. And I've used PSVR. Fucking... We've used the Oculus in this house, and they all follow the same path of like, this is really cool, but the games and the 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 the, the tech demos that we're using are not justification enough to deal with this fucking mess in the house. Yeah. And while it's and while it'd be nice to like wait until it's in a light, easy package. Um, the development process as well needs to grow and developers need to learn how to make these games because there's so you know many what, things. Bully? You're right. It would be nice to just wait until it's a nice, easy package. But, uh, alas, the growing pains. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see like how this is going to look and how it's going to feel because the weight, obviously, is going to be a huge difference that, that uh, is in need of improvement. Um, the specs are saying that it can now output 4K, um, so that's nice. Uh, it also no longer needs the external camera, so it has its built-in camera tracking, so that's nice. Vital, because the PSVR never worked properly in my own house. It worked at the office, and I was super thrilled, and then it never worked in my own house once. Because of the distance? So I could never get it. I would. It would always want me to be looking over in one of my corners. I could never fix it. Interesting. Yeah, because you had to plug in the PS camera and then yeah. point it at you, and it was a whole thing, um, a whole to do. But now that's gotten rid of as well. So you're basically getting, you know, if it supports 4K, then that means like you know each eye. Well, we'll see what it is, but I assume it'll be you know 1080p each one, and then. Um, you know, self-tracking, self-gyro, self-aware, you know, placements. You don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, the, 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 the constant getting, um, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, discombobulated by, you know, like a, a drifting tracker on the camera. Oh, I hate it. Games. The worst. You'd have to constantly recenter. you know, all of that hopefully is gone now. So that's nice. Um, How much does it weigh? We don't have a weight given. Because, um, like all the other issues with VR aside, and I know I'm not the only person, there's a per um, You see these headphones that I'm wearing that we've been talking yeah. about because they keep running out of juice? Uh, these are the only headphones I wear because mm -hmm. they're the only headphones that don't press in very strongly on my ears. Yes. Right? Uh, every single time I wore any VR headset ever for longer than 45 minutes, my issue was not eye strain and my issue was not dizziness and my issue wasn't motion sickness. It was that the pressure on my head would give me a migraine 100% of the time, just like a slower virtual boy. Yeah. So for me, when you're talking about these things, it's like I need you to tell me that it weighs less than half of the existing PSVR headset. See, my problem wasn't the pressure. My problem was getting a snug fit because I've got hair and yeah, a lot of it to fit around. And it's got, it's, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't like when you have a big, poofy fucking dreadhead to, to, to work with. So, um, yeah, that there's no listing on the weight yet. Uh, there's just a specification that the um, uh, field FOV is increased to 110 from 100 degrees. It's got a proximity sensor included now. Um, and yeah, the cameras are all... Like, basically, I'm going to... If, if it's the way that the Oculus has improved and the Vive, then you're going to see an overall reduction in weight. Um, a biggest, heaviest part of these VR systems is the fact that if it has an onboard uh, computer as well, if it's, if it's doing its own standalone thing, then it's going to weigh more than the ones that are just passing through via HDMI from, uh, you know, a stronger PC, which this is going to do. Uh, but that's where it might hurt them because uh, it, it's not just competing with other VR headsets that are like 
plug in to your desktop and get like you know better quality games higher resolution etc it's competing with self-sustaining vr headsets you know self-sustaining um, well it's not well, well the headsets that don't require a pc to be plugged into it oh right right like so so the new oculus you don't need anything you just wear the headset and it's its own computer um and it's the standalone uh, 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 headsets are a massive like appeal on their own just because you don't have to worry about plugging in wires pl anywhere, you know, any of that shit. Like it's super nice to not have anything uh, tethered to you. Similarly, the headsets going over the, uh, heads uh, the, the original PSVR were really annoying because you'd have to have a decent headset to like layer on top and uh, the Freeform Oculus like had the speakers just built in right underneath the vi the viewing uh, frames so that you didn't have to worry about headphones and mm -hmm. shit like that. So uh, we'll see. Um, I was able to look it up and these headphones that we're wearing are one pound. Okay. So get it to one pound and I will become a VR man. Other noteworthy things that haven't been specified uh, besides the weight is uh, what's the price going to be? Because <laughs> that's a huge question, you know? Um, are you going to aim for $399? Are you going to go for 500 bucks? Like, what's your, you know? I feel like that's your range because you're competing again with Oculus Quest 2, which is well, coming in way cheaper. Let me ask you. Let's say it's five hundred dollars. What's the killer app that's going to come out with the thing to justify me spending five hundred dollars? This brings me to the next point, which is it better be the existing PSVR library. Because what if is it's the not, killer app there? If it's not everything that has released so far. If you're dealing, it's like, hey, it's another way to play Thumper or Beat Saber or keep talking and no one explodes. And it's like, yeah, we, we, we've we got those, but you're going to need... They're, they're going to probably have something first party developed, you know, to show off. But uh, yeah, they need to probably announce the, the existing library can be backwards compatible with it. Uh, they need to announce a price point that's not going to be like buy a ps5 if you can get one and now that you're lucky enough to get one of those spend 500 bucks on this as well like that seems like a high ask versus getting a standalone <laughs> oculus 2 which you know isn't going to look as good but it's 300 bucks and again you can just you can wear that and that on its own and it'll be fine you know it's decent get, a, enough. get a ps5 just just go down to the store and get a ps5 just go, just go buy one. You know. Furthermore, that Oculus Two, when you plug in a USB C into the, into it and then into your computer, it acts as uh, a desktop Oculus, which is allowing you to do stronger things, play better games, and you know, like there's a pass through um, uh, Oculus Link app that you can run, so that it treats it as if it's a desktop uh, uh, headset. So. Yeah, um, there's there's not enough info to make this a a, a competitive uh, uh, peripheral at this point. But they're displaying their intent to stay interested in the space. Okay. Uh, Putting out a peripheral like this when people can't even get the console that it's supposed right. to go with sounds like laughable. Also, uh, I need to make an uh, addendum. Uh, I was wrong. These headphones are not one pound. That's the box and everything. They need to get the PSVR under 240 grams. Grams. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, the other thing, too, is that, like, you have to, ha have to, you have to also consider that the, the, these VR headsets are kind of still novelty accessories that oh boy are they just you pull them out for to show off to your parents <laughs> the, the cool thing and then you put them the fuck away um i they're, they're you know, novelty because there's not a lot of software for them because they're novelty and thus people don't make a lot of software for them because they're novelty so my understanding is half-life alex is like the biggest commitment we've seen from 
a studio tour. Oh, it's absolutely. Like a real and that will not be playable on the PSVR. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if they get um, their first party studios working on some kind of, um, I don't know, Horizon crossbow training. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I genuinely don't know. Like every single one of these new input methods, it's like it's the future. It's like, is it? I played Link's Cross. I played. I got through the entirety of the Wii library and didn't see anything better than it could be like a mouse. <laughs> uh, I I've I had fun with it and like having like dicked around in in, in VR chat, having played um, some of the. Uh, uh, you know the oculus desktop things and whatnot like it, it, it was cool i had like a near religious experience playing res but but you know that's more just me personally loving that game and then res infinite uh as well and you know it was so nice to just like kind of forget child of eden existed <laughs> it was it was beautiful it was beautiful to have to feel that the memories of child of eden being deleted in front of me as I played Res Infinite, um, but that seems yeah. more of a of a of a it's personal like a, a clap for Res than it does for VR, because like before VR was a twinkle in anyone's eyes, Res also gave people that experience. Because sure Res did. is Res, sure did. Uh, yeah, we'll 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 need to see, you know. But I'm sure they're working on at least something. That'll be this the Sony flagship to be like, hey, you gotta come look at this. It'll be the the thing you you, you really want. I'm calling it. I'll it's, believe, it's I'll alloys, believe it. Alloys crossbow training. It's like, listen, VR is obviously it, like immediately cooler and more interesting than most, if not all, of the gimmicks that we've dealt with in the past many years in technology, not just games, but like. There was the Wii, there was the Kinect, there was the Kinect again. There was 3D televisions, and now we're in VR, and they all end up in the same problem where people go, think of the potential, and I go, no, show me something good right now. Mm. But the future. It's like, no, show me something good right now. RE5 was, uh, was solid too, wasn't it? Excuse me, RE7. Yeah, that was another pretty full. Good, good it one, was. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 